Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to install Stable Diffusion program in, in your slow PC locally. So, first of all, open your Chrome, then search Hugging Face and open this website huggingface.co. Then just sign up if you are doing first time login and create your account. After creating, just search here Stable Diffusion version 1.4 original here you can see stable diffusion version 1.4 original so just scroll it and you can download a weight sdv14 ckpt so just click and download it i have already downloaded it so i will cancel it i will show you See, I have already downloaded it as dv14 ckpt so I will just skip this part after downloading we will go to from github website so just open github.com and search here basu jindal and go to repository basu jindal slash stable diffusion and just you need to click in this code and download this zip file so i will not again waste my data as i have already downloaded it right here here you can see stable diffusion go here and just uh, extract this you just need to right click and extract here so you will get this folder stable diffusion main so after going to this now you just need to copy this file sdv1ckpt to this folder inside models and here you can see a, a folder name ldm now just create a new folder namely stable diffusion dash v1 this one and open it now here paste your file sdv14 ckpt and change its name to model.ckpt this is the same file just we have to rename it so i have already done it so i will just skip this part again just need to copy this copy this file again i will repeat it to this table diffusion folder in models in ldm create a new folder stable diffusion v1 and then copy paste it and rename it to model.ckpt now after this you need to install python dependencies so we will go back here first and i will open environment.yml with notepad so i will just right click it and open with notepad okay now you can see when you will install for the first time you will not see here git you have to just uh, just write below dependencies dash space git and then save it and exit it after this you need to go to download miniconda you just go to miniconda search google miniconda download a miniconda we look for windows downloader windows installers and we will download this miniconda 3 windows 64 bit you can just uh, check your system whether it is 64 bit or 32 bit i think it will be 64 bit so just download it and install it i have already installed it so i will also skip this part 
after this you just need to open this miniconda so this is the folder this is the prompt it will uh, that will open so now we will just uh, move to the stable diffusion folder where it's located currently it's prompting to my name and c users so i just uh, skip to have where is my location okay this is f stable stable diffusion main so i will move to stable diffusion main so just you need to click f this cd st stable diffusion main select enter so we have just move to the folder where all the files are kept now we have to type conda env create dash f environment dot yaml now since i have already installed it so again it will say that you have already installed and it will this will take almost 30 minutes of time so just have patience and let the process complete you will see i have already installed so a message will say that it already exists so suppose you have already installed it then what to do after this step you need to do conda Now this is the command you need to type always conda activate ldm not this is not idm just not get confused with this is ldm so just you have to select enter and you can see that this base has been changed with ldm now you have to type your commands just you need to give the prompts and this will generate images so this will be the format of commands you first need to type python and you will just you just need to go this to this folder this is optimized sd folder and you have to run this file optimized text to image.py so we will type python space op you just can select tab optimize sd then this slash op then you can elect optimize text to image dot py then you need to type space hyphen hyphen prompt now you just type double quote and you can write your prompt here suppose beautiful garden so one thing you must know that uh, if your uh, prompt is big then it will take lot of time a two word prompt take minimum 30 minutes of time i have created some images with this stable diffusion in my pc and my pc config is a 2 gb vram and 8 gb ram with uh, i5 7 generation processor with gigabyte G, uh, b250 motherboard so this is the specification of my computer so with uh, i consider this as slow pc uh, when we are talking about these heavy weight programs like stable diffusion so just you need to type enter and you will see that the processor started and it will load the models that ckpt file that we downloaded and many background works will happen and it will take time so i will move straight to the file that i have already generated and let it complete it will take a lot of time if suppose your prompt is big it will take more than three to four hours so have patience so i will show how much time does it take if you uh, if you write some long long 
prompts. So this is a screenshot of a prompt I wrote here. So you can see here it took almost 260.31 minutes. A normal uh, images with two word prompts that are created takes 30 minutes. So where output will be saved? The, so to check the output images, you just need to go output. I have already started the process. So this is a bit slow. So in the output folder, we need to go to text to image IMG dash samples. Let's double click it. Now this is the first image that I have created with this software stable diffusion. Now these are the images that I created with this city evergreen art by Salvador Dali. See how much RAM does it take. The, my PC has turned slow. So I will close it for a bit. I will stop it. So now I will show you the generated pics. So cute baby cartoon. You can see not very clear. So friends, these are the images that can be generated in stable diffusion and if prompts are very clear and your PC VRAM is very high, suppose you are using RTX 4080, so it will be much faster. So friends, this was the tutorial, hope you will like it. After a long time, I am making this video and if you like it and if you, it works for you, then please thumbs up, like and subscribe. Thank you.